No one ever confronts me about this stuff. My family never, like, talked about this. Welcome to part two of my pre-recorded series while I'm on vacation. I've done a video in the past like this where I just talk about stupid things I thought as a kid. And I have a lot, actually. <laughs> and they don't come to me every day. It takes like three months to make this list because I have to go through my daily routine of life. And we all know that this shit is fucking hard. Now, I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer. I was like the butter knife of family when I was a kid, and I think I still am. So don't judge me so hard, please, okay? Be nice. No one ever confronts me about this stuff. My family never, like, talked about this. I had to learn this shit on the internet. Or like my friends would just be like, Fred, you're, you're a fucking idiot. Why would you think that? Judgment free zone, okay? But anyways, here are some more stupid shit that I thought as a kid. When I was eating gingerbread cookies on Christmas, it came to me that when I was a kid, I convinced myself that gingerbread did not have ginger in it. And my reasoning was because ginger tasted so fucking bad and I still hate it. It tastes like shit. Go ahead and go Gordon Ramsay on my ass, but it doesn't, I don't like it. So little Frederick was like, mm, this gingerbread is sweet. No way it has ginger in it. It's just something they call it. Nope, when I go to try to make cookies, the first fucking ingredient is ginger. You know when people tell you to not look at the sun or else you go blind? I knew that, but I also convinced myself that if I looked at the sun, through a picture, it would also make me go blind. And I don't know why. I don't know what my little brain was thinking, but I didn't want to go blind, okay? I'm already vision impaired. I didn't really know CGI was a thing back in like the early 2000s. I also didn't know that acting was a real job. You know where I'm going with this. So when people died in movies, I thought they really died. Put that in your mind for a second. When animals died in movies, I thought they really killed those animals. When Jurassic fucking Park came out. I thought that velociraptors were real. I thought they were being held in like Area 51 or something and they were using them for the movie. Oh my god. Uh, go ahead. Roast me in the comments already. I'll take it. And lastly, I thought earthquakes, tsunamis, and volcanoes, and tornadoes, and all the natural disasters that happened were real in movies. Goodbye everybody. This one isn't really what I thought as a kid. This happened in ninth grade, which was last year. It just came out and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get a good skincare routine because gays like to take care of their skin. Don't, don't even think about judging my skin right now, okay? It's been a bad year. Finals fucked me up. So I was looking around my house because my sister lived with me at the time and I noticed that there were baby wipes on the toilet and my head put together baby wipes. Oh so babies can use them, which is probably why their butt is so soft. Maybe I can use baby wipes on my face and have that really soft. I wiped my face for a clean month until my sister saw my backpack that I had fucking baby wipes in it, and she was like, Freddy, what are you doing? Put that shit back on the toilet. What are you doing, mister? And I was like, oh shit, my sister told me. Glad she did though, because honestly, I would have kept on doing it. This is even worse because I learned the reality in 10th grade. I thought that New England was England. Don't ask me why. I don't know how my brain thinks of this stuff, okay? History's always been my worst subject, and I barely pay attention, so I didn't really know that Puritans fucking fled from England and made New England by coming to here. I think this area that I live in is basically New England. Watch me get that wrong as well. But yeah, I put Great Britain, England, and New England all in the same category, because I thought Old England meant like, oh, England back in the old days. Like, 1700s. And the moment I realized was after I put New England on an AP test. You know what that does to you? Fucks you up and you gotta be minus as an average. More stuff about natural disasters. You know when it's fall and you see like leaves twirling around on the road like going in circular motions? I thought that was the birth of a tornado. When the leaves start twirling, I thought that meant a tornado was about to sprout off from the ground. Yes, I thought it came from the ground as well. And kill me. So I always ran from it. Another thing about earthquakes, since I thought the earthquakes in movies were real, they're always like really dramatic and how they like split the earth so much that lava comes out. I thought that happens every time in an earthquake. So I'd see like old cracks in the road and be like, mom, is that like a old earthquake? And she'd just be like, I, what the fuck are you thinking, Frederick? Like, I'm not gonna pay attention to my little child. I'm gonna stay on the road and get to my Macy's. One thing that many kids are inspired by are cartoons. SpongeBob was one of my favorite shows at the time and still is. And you know, in the show, SpongeBob blows a bunch of bubbles around and like usually things end up inside the bubbles. So I thought, that if you threw things into bubbles, they'd 
be in the bubbles. So for weeks straight, I told my dad, like, can we buy some bubbles? And I'd just be throwing like rocks into bubbles, trying to get it inside and see it float off because I didn't know what fucking gravity was. And lastly, the creme de la creme. I think that means like, best of the best, I don't know. We were reading Richard III this year in class. You know, you read in the history books talking about like Richard III, Louis IV, Henry VIII, blah, blah, blah. And I thought Richard III meant he was the third Richard born in the world. He was the third person in the whole world to be named Richard. I'm gonna end it there. If you enjoyed, give this video a like, leave a comment down below, or better subscribe because I post videos every Saturday. Please comment something you thought as a kid so I don't feel as bad anymore. I love you guys and everything is less than three. Peace.